And in this next example, the diameter of the ball is assumed to be a continuous random variable x with probability density function f of x is c into 3x squared minus x cubed x between the interval 0 to 1 or 0 elsewhere. Then you'll be told to determine the value of the constant c, to determine the mean, and to determine the probability that x is between a half end and 1, isn't it? So you know the whole range of a probability measure is 1, isn't it? So it means when you're looking for the probability that x is in between the range a to b, then that is the inter integration from a to b of f of x mean dx. And all this range of probability measure is what? Is 1. Meaning from negative infinity to a and from b to positive infinity will be 0 elsewhere, isn't it? Are we together? So our limit a to b, which is defined by this function, is giving us a whole range of the probability measure, which is 1. Are we together? So we start, the first one we want to determine the value of the constant c. So that value of the constant c is what? You are getting the probability that x is between the range a to b, then we are integrating the whole of that pdf within the whole of that range. So if you substitute, your a is 0, your b is, is 1. So you are integrating from 0 to so 1, then f of x is what? c into 3x squared minus x cubed. c is a constant you can factorize outside, isn't it? So it is c, then we have 3x squared minus x cubed f of x dx. Then if you integrate the whole of that range, you get the whole range of a probability measure, which is 1, isn't it? Let us start integrating. So we have c outside, inside, we have 3. If we integrate x squared, so we get x cubed over 3. Then it is minus, if you integrate x cubed, so you get x raised to power 4 over 4. Then you put the limit is from 0 to 1. Then that one is giving us the whole range of probability measure, which is 1. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So start. When you simplify this, you have c into 3 goes with 3, you remain with x cubed minus x raised to power 4 over 4 between the interval 0 to 1, and that is giving you 1, isn't it? So start substituting. When you put 1 where there is x, what do you get? 1 minus 1 over 4. You get 3 over? So we have c, upper limit, we found 3 over 4 when we substitute 1, isn't it? Then the lower limit, when you substitute 0, you get 0, isn't it? Are we together? Then that one is equal to 1. So 3 over 4 minus 0 is just 3 over 4, isn't it? Times c. 3 over 4 c is equal to 1. So that implies what is the value of the constant c? 4 over 3. You multiply both sides of the equation with the reciprocal of 3 over 4. You multiply both sides by 4 over 3, isn't it? So we found the constant c to be 4 over 3. Meaning anything you are now going to work on, where there is c, you put 4 over 3 in anything you are going to look for, isn't it? So let us start. From 1 to the 1 to the what is the mean? The expected value of x, isn't it? So Roman 2, we want the mean, and the mean is given as the expected value of x. So expected value of x meaning we are integrating from it to be x times the f of x, isn't it? So x times the f of x dx. So that gives you the mean. So start substituting. We have the limit a to b is 0 to 0 to 1. Then we have x times f of x. What is f of x? 4 over 3 into this, isn't it? So 4 over 3 is a constant you can factorize outside the integral. Then inside you remain with 3x squared minus x cubed dx. So you can see you multiply x, f of x, and you factorize out the constant out of the integral, isn't it? Are we together? So from here, you now simplify it in a form that can be integrated, isn't it? So here we have 4 over 3, we integrate it from 0 to 1, x times 3x squared, 3x cubed, isn't it? Then minus x times x cubed, x to power, power 4. So you are integrating with respect to x. Start integrating. 
we have four by three outside inside. If you integrate, we have three. If you integrate x raised to power three, so you get x raised to power four by four. Then minus, if you integrate x raised to power four, so you get x raised to power five over five. Then you put the limits is from zero to to one. Are we together? So that one is going to be four over three outside. If you simplify this, so it is three x raised to power four over four. Then minus x raised to power 5 over interval 0 to 1. So when x is 1, where there is x, you put 1. You give your upper limit, isn't it? So we have 4 over 3 outside, inside the bracket. What is upper limit? Where there is x, put 1. So it is 3 over 4 minus 1 over 5, isn't it? Which is? Where there is x, put 1. 1 raised to power 4 is just 1. 1 raised to power 5 is just 1, isn't it? So it is now 3 over 4 minus 1 over 5. Which is? Fourteen? Twelve? Eleven over twenty. This one is fifteen minus four. Eleven over twenty. Yeah. Eleven over twenty minus lower limit where the research you put zero. So zero minus zero is just zero. Are we together? Yeah. So what do you get to be the mean? Four over three times eleven over twenty, isn't it? So what is four over three times eleven over twenty? Eleven? 11 over 15. You get 11 over 15. So what is 11 over 15 in, in decimal? 0 0.7? 0 0.73? 0 0.733. So you can see the mean 0 0.733 must be between because the values of x are ranging from 0 to 1, meaning that mean of x must be a value between 0 and 1, isn't it? And you can see 0 0.733 is between the range of x, isn't it? Are we together? So the mean is 0 0.733. After that, after getting the mean, 0 0.733, what else do they want? The probability the probability that that x is between a half and and one, isn't it? So you just substitute because a half and one, you can check if half and one are in the same interval. You know from zero to one is the same interval, meaning a half to one is in this same interval, isn't it? Yeah. So you take the whole of that, isn't it? So we are integrating from a half to one of, of f of x dx. Then we will get that probability. You can see the probability, you just integrate f of x dx to give you the prob probability. So you just substitute the value so we are be a half to. Are we together? So what do we get? A half to one. What is y of x? Four over three into. Yeah, that is the how f of x is defined between that range a half to one, isn't it? So four over three is a constant. You factor it outside. Then inside you put three x squared minus x cubed, isn't it? Three x squared minus x cubed, did Yes. Yeah. So what do we have? We have 4 over 3 hours time. Then if we integrate this, it is the same as the one we found from this probability, isn't it? Mm. We, which was, if you integrate this, you get x cubed over 3, 3 will cancel with 3, you remain with x cubed, isn't it? Mm. Then minus x raised to power 3, if you integrate x raised to power 4 over, then you put your limits from a half to 1. So here we have 4 over 3. When the limit was 1, what did you got? You found 11 over when you substitute 1 in this. You found 11 over 20. So isn't it? Now when you substitute a half here, what do you now get to be the lower limit? A half cube minus a half raised to power 4 divided by 4. Half just put 0 0.5, isn't it? You get 3 over, you are not done. Are... 7 over 64. Is that what we have? Do we? What is that? Should I have? Yes. Yes. 7 over. 7 over 64. So give me the upper limit minus lower limit.
8, 11 over 20 minus 7 over 64. 11 over 20 minus 7 over 64. Give me the final answer. 11 over 20 minus 7 over 64. Then you multiply by 4 by 3, isn't it? Would you get? What is? That is 11 over 20 minus 7 over 64. The, the, the final answer you found is over 8 to 16 47 over 80 so you can see that probability is between 0 and 1 isn't it? all probabilities must be between 0 and 1 that is the whole range of probability measure is 1 isn't it? and it is a range from 0 to 1 giving you the whole range of 1 are we together? good, so that is how to solve that given problem.